in this culture that we're in now. It's sort of nonstop, electronic, Facebook, Twitter, email, voicemail. How many different ways can we connect 24-7? And as humans, we were not evolved to, to be in that constant electronic contact. There's pressures and levers and pieces that when impacted on one area, it has an impact on the other. We need to be able to seek the path that will help mitigate some of these problems. Success in business, personal success, planetary success is not happening unless we have leaders who understand the whole and see the whole system. And what River Story is offering is a new way to develop leaders of the future across sectors. If we're going to go into a system and want to bring on the kind of world that we dream of for our children, where all life thrives, where there's pristine, clean, green energy, food and water for seven billion of us, it's going to take a kind of visionary leader, whether it's organizational development, corporate leadership development, policy makers, or anywhere people are looking at large systems, large scale change. The integration of systems thinking into a leadership mentality is very important. Are you the one that can make this happen? It's this holistic approach on how an organization or an individual is viewed or as they view themselves within the whole picture. What's interesting is that for the most part in school, we're not taught to think about systems. We're taught that you know math is here in one class, English is here in the next class, science, um, you know, even art, and we separate them, and yet when we go out into the world, that's not how the world works. The world is integrated. The world has parts that move together. For example, like climate change. Climate change has to do with history. It has to do with consumerism. It has to do with geography. It has to do with lots of different elements that interact to produce something called climate change. We're doing the inner and the outer work of sustainability by intention, by design in a coherent whole systems learning process. If you've got partners in different cities, different jobs. One of the core pieces of the river story is this inner and outer philosophy. Without taking care of your inside, you cannot adequately look at the outside and address some of these pieces. Blending those two elements together is critical so you can have an impact on a situation and ultimately the world. I have expertise on the technical side of sustainability, i.e. carbon footprints, technological mm -hmm. solutions, metrics. When I heard about the River Story Leadership Institute, I got really excited because here was an opportunity to combine the inner work that I had done alone in nature, uh, the spiritual side and connecting with the earth, with the outer systems thinking, applying systems to be more strategic for change. As your network is growing, and you're in a network, and as that grows, I can reach out to you and you can yeah. help me solve this problem. Not only is this a sort of magical learning process, but it's also taking place in a really incredible place in Wendell, Massachusetts, where it's a nourishing environment to learn about how to be a leader for the next generation. have that place where we can rest, reconnect to the earth, and allow that connection to settle our hearts and our minds and kind of settle the static that goes on and, and look at ourselves and each other again. The location is everything. There is an actual river right on the property that we spent time with. We are blessed by an amazing river that was known to be sacred to the native peoples here. This is one of our mama maples. We usually put three buckets on her every spring and she gives us uh, roughly 30 gallons of uh, beautiful maple sap. Here we are in front of our handmade, hand-carved log sauna, built in traditional Scandinavian scribe fit design. Here we are standing in front of our solar panels. This produces roughly 50% of the electricity we need to run the entire homestead. We've saved nearly 30,000 pounds of carbon dioxide so far by using these uh, panels to generate electricity. This tree is its own unique variety of apple, and I made 15 gallons of my own hard cider last year. So come on by and we'll share a glass. And being that these are wild mushrooms, a little bit goes a long way. And we had great food. A master chef and author of his great cookbook brought in some locally raised organic food and we together made a meal that was sustainable and delicious and um, I feel like all my senses are in overload. 
probably worth really thinking about a business plan. So you get the location, great faculty, the inner, the outer work for leadership looking at sustainability. Um, and for me it's not only environmental sustainability but it's also economic and social sustainability. That's important to me. That's what we should be, is like constantly making the connection between soy production in Brazil and the rising middle class in China. I come from the corporate learning space and what I see being offered by River Story is something really unique. The ability to go really deep in terms of systems thinking, the ability to really go deep in self-awareness, and then to go really deep in application. I haven't seen this matched in the marketplace and I think it's an incredible opportunity for business leaders uh, across the world really. It has completely changed my life in such deep and personal ways that have only been beneficial to me. I am very, very excited about River Story and your opportunity to take part in it because the world is changing and we need to ensure a sustainable future. So I hope that you will come, be inspired, and go out into the world and do the work that is needed. That's River Story. We'll hope you join us.